Okay, so today we are going to deploy a Next.js app to S3 and CloudFront and then add uh, GitHub Actions to it. So, yes, this is the architectural diagram. So, the developer pushes the code source code to the GitHub repository and then the GitHub Actions workflow, uh, you know, it starts out check out the repository, configure AWS CLI, you know, build the repository, build the code and then deploy it to S3 bucket and then it will go on to the cloud front and the users can access that resource from the cloud front. So let us start. First we will be creating a bucket. Let's call it Next.js deploy Next.js S3 cloud front Let's give my initials and Okay, let's see if this is available. This name is available so we will choose the us east one and we will disable the block all public access because we will be using this as a static website okay i acknowledge bucket versioning is disabled server side yes this is by default okay now let's go and create the bucket okay now we will go to the properties and uh, in the very end we will be enabling this static website hosting and in this we will have an index dot js file and there's a HTML file and here we will be having 404 dot HTML Okay, so now we save the changes. Let us go beyond and as you can see we have been given a URL for a static website. Okay, now for the permissions, we'll edit this bucket policy. And this will be our bucket policy let me just zoom it in public bucket public read get object effect is allow principle is all and action is to s3 get object resource is given please change this as this is for my last and uh, let me go through and copy this and paste it here paste it actually here this is all of the URL ARN okay. now save let's save these changes save changes okay now coming back to the objects now we have to upload our uh, repository here so let's get back to the repository let me bring up my VS code okay so it's just a simple next.js application okay so npm run build it should give us a output as you can see uh, the build was successful and we have received an output of the file this output folder will and the, all the contents inside it will be uploaded to our s3 bucket now let us go and upload this upload out folder and all the things that I have in here I'll just drag drop the files here it's easier 
now it okay now I will upload it as you can see we have uploaded all the files to s3 now if we go to the properties and uh, go to the aesthetic website hosting and uh, click on this static hosted website link so we will get our blog and as to we can see that our pages are just working fine as expected <coughs> okay now what we have to do is we will go forward and uh, we'll go towards the cloud watch cloud front sorry cloud front open up a new tab <coughs> create a distribution and as you can see as I clicked it and it is giving me next next year s3 cloud front mnm that i created we will be using the endpoint good it has selected for us it would be http only the name it has selected for us enable origin shield it isn't necessary but when when it's a production we should enable the origin shield we are we will be compressing the objects automatically the viewer access we will redirect from HTTP to HTTPS we will not be enabling the WAF here again it's just a demo but uh, in the production we will have to enable the security protections we will choose the uh, use all edge locations in in the default root object let us put index.html okay now create a distribution okay so now uh, uh, the district the cloud from distribution has been deployed so let me just check this copy new tab paste and as you can see I can get the blog more stories yes the routing is working fine good okay so now Go, moving forward we will be going towards our project and uh, we will be adding a github workflow in this file let's create a file here called dot github slash workflows slash build dash deploy build and deploy dot yaml it's a yaml file so now let me go over this uh, we created a build and deploy yaml file in the dot github workflows folder and uh, it will trigger on push in the main branch permissions these are the permissions that are needed to interact with the github github's OIC, OIDC token endpoint I will show you how to create one really and then these are the permissions the job build and deploy runs on Ubuntu latest and these are the environment variables that we will be using in the in this file next year's distro next year's dist the build folder which is the out folder in our repository AWS region that we have selected as US East 1 S3 bucket the bucket name let me show you the bucket name the, this is a bucket name that we selected and uh, then we'll be given the cloud front distribution ID and uh, this is the distribution ID 
of our project okay moving forward the steps are to check out and then we have will be configuring the AWS credentials from AWS account AWS credentials and this is the role that we have to uh, you know a role to assume for this action region we will have selected as AWS region US East 1 moving forward we will install a dependent the needed dependencies it will install the dependencies then it will build the static website through npm run build at this moment it will spit out a uh, out folder and uh, then that out folder the distrib next js distrib uh, dist folder will be synced to into the s3 bucket so this is the aws cli command from there uh, we have once we have you know sync those that output file to the s3 bucket now we will create an invalidation into the cloud front obviously it will be doing it uh, through you know uh, aws cli so we have given a cli command aws cloud front create create invalidation we have given the distribution id and also all the paths okay now we will be committing and i will push this changes github workflow commit now that i have pushed the changes to github let us go to github and see we go to actions and so as expected our github workflow is uh, you know not deployed it failed actually so why it failed was now we have to create a, a policy we have to create a policy and we have to attach that policy to our s3 bucket so now we will be creating a policy so we have created a s3 web access policy this is the name that i chose and uh, let me show you the json of what this policy consists as you can see let me go into edit mode so it will be much easier to see so this is the policy that i created in the s3 web access policy there is a list object in bucket all objects action and invalidates cloud front and also i have given the arn s3 of the bucket name the bucket name is given here also okay let me save it now save the changes now that we have created the s3 web access policy now we will be going to the roles we have created this github to aws oidc and uh, in the edit trust policy I have included this policy here and also given a repo repository name of the repository that we are working here you can see you can get it from here and then let us update the policy And in that policy we have also attached the policy that we created earlier s3 web access policy now let us go in the actions and rerun set up the job check out configure aws credentials from AWS account install dependencies now it is building a static website let us see
now it is copying files to s3 and validating and the job has been completed yes successfully completed now let us go to our cloud front distribution and uh, see that if it works yes it is working now the cloud front distribution is working now what we will be do we will doing is to check that our ci cd pipeline the github workflows work as expected we will be changing something and what we will be changing is that we will be changing these authors author names so let us change in our we'll go to our so we can find those authors here let's change this to Ali Yasser let me save that and let us change this to Dua okay now let us commit these changes updated the names of authors commit okay so let us go to actions now and updated the name of authors it is working let us see if it fails or passes so our build is successful now let us go to the cloud front distribution and let us see that our desired changes have been reflected so yes now the names of authors have been changed to Ali Yasser and Dua now let us open it yes we can see here it is also reflected our changes here so that's about it.